welcome back to another video and today's video is, you guessed it, another study with me. I just started a forest timer and I'm doing some physics to start off the morning. So I actually woke up really early this morning and managed to start doing work just before half eight, which is actually really good for me. I chose the ultrasound chapter because I'd done some work on it a few days ago, so I was just figuring out what I could remember and what I had to go back over. I did some questions then based on what I couldn't remember and all that really was is the Doppler effect in measuring blood flow so it wasn't too bad. All of that took about half an hour and then I moved on to doing some hyperbolic calculus from further math. I realised that I hadn't done further maths in like so long especially pure definitely not much hyperbolics for a long time so I went over all of the calculus and I did a bunch of past paper questions and I also went back to the exercise that we get set in class and did some of them because I was getting a bit stuck on certain things and I have some questions to ask my teacher but a win is a win because now I know what I'm stuck on and I've been over it and I could remember a lot of it, it's just certain bits I kept getting confused on and that will always pretty much be the case but I did all of that hyperbolic calculus which actually took such a long time honestly to be expected though as it is maths and you just gotta constantly practice 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 look how satisfying it is when I clean the whiteboard honestly it was super cool and then I did more hyperbolics whoa so I blurted the whole chapter and then I remembered oh my god there's proofs that I need to do so I went through and I did each of the proofs from memory and then had a break um I played with Lockie for a bit because she was really sleepy and it was so cute and I also grabbed some clothes from downstairs and put them all away and also had a snack before I went back to further maths. This time though I tackled some statistics which I think statistics is literally my enemy. I have a constant battle with this topic um so i decided to do one of the hardest topics in my opinion which is unbiased estimators right but i actually low-key crushed it i got all the questions right and i was understanding the method and i even tried an unseen question that i hadn't looked at at all before and i got that one right as well so i think we are all good on that front thank goodness because it was stressing me out that I didn't know this topic fully, but I can tick it off my list now quite happily. And I'm quickly flipping through here to show how many pages of work this took, and it took so long. For lunch, I had chicken flavored noodles and a bunch of random salad that I found, so that was really good. And then I went back to blurting. So this time I'd done the electric fields chapter, which I hadn't touched in quite a long time, and I was a bit nervous about, oh my gosh, am I gonna forget everything? And I forgot one of the key definitions, but it's all good. And I also, after that, did some past paper questions to to test my knowledge and to see what I need to work on. All of the questions I got full marks on, apart from this one question where I got like one out of nine or something, and I don't understand what went wrong, but I'm gonna take it to my teacher next week and see if he can figure out what I did. If you can't tell that my big whiteboard is new, I actually bought it yesterday uh, from Tesco's. It was like £5.50 because my little A4 whiteboard just does not cut it anymore. When I do blurting, I like to do a chapter at a time and I can't even fit a whole chapter onto that board anymore because the chapters are just getting more dense. Like it was all right for first year, but second year it's just not working. I marked all of those questions and moved on to some maths. It had been quite a long time since I'd done anything parametric equation related so I worked through the whole chapter of my textbook on it and I think I'm going to start doing that a lot more, try and do a chapter every other day because there's not too many, there's like 11 topics I want to say and this was topic five. Yeah, it did take me about an hour to work through the whole thing because they got all the methods, the examples, and then the big quiz at the end where it's like, test your whole knowledge. But I think it'll be really useful if I take some time and do all of that. Nevertheless, I found the whole thing very useful, even if it took a very long time. And I feel much more confident and I don't think I'll need to touch parametrics until like maybe two weeks before the exam, which is really helpful when there's a lot of other stuff I would rather be focusing on. After doing all of this parametric work, I moved on to physics because it really keeps slipping my mind that my first physics exam is in like three weeks, if that. 
and I need to not forget about it. So I worked through a bunch of practicals, um, went over loads of AS stuff that could come up. And yeah, I also did some past papers for prac analysis because I am god awful at prac analysis <laughs> papers. I always just forget how to do like the most simple things like absolute uncertainty and I somehow always get the graphs wrong I think I just keep doing error bars wrong so I'm trying to fix it as best as I can I just worked through like a couple of questions about uncertainties I didn't really do any graphs questions I focused on filling in tables and general uncertainties questions before I went on a really long walk. I did this with my mum and we stopped off on a shop and bought some snacks so I had some baby cucumber and crisps. This is my final hours. I did six hours and 15 minutes of studying which is a lot of trees for me and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Bye!